Secretary Wolfowitz, good to have you on. What, what do you think of, of what Rouhani said to Christian, what he said at the UN today? Should the U.S. negotiate? We're making far too much of his words, and the words aren't terribly reassuring. He basically, in the clip you played, said we're not going to suspend uranium enrichment, which is the core issue on the nuclear issue. But let's remember, uh, instead of focusing so much on sweet words about Iranians love Americans or whatever they actually do, uh, and by the way, this regime is not entitled to speak for the Iranian people. It murders them on a large scale and regularly. But they have also killed Americans in Iraq. They plotted to assassinate the Saudi ambassador in Washington, D.C., the man who was charged by, not by the Bush administration, but by Eric Holder's Justice Department of attempting that crime, was just sentenced to 25 years in prison. And Secretary of State Clinton said, this was organized out of Tehran, and the two men who organized it are designated by the Secretary of the Treasury. We have a lot of issues with Iran, and instead of rushing after smiles and nice words, we should be pursuing that whole agenda and not, as we did with Syria, get trapped on a single piece of it. Assad may or may not give up his chemical weapons, but he's not giving up the tanks and helicopters and missiles that are slaughtering many, many more Syrians than the chemical weapons. We need to keep a broad agenda, we need to be tough about it, and we need to hold them accountable for what they do, but, not just what they say. But, but Mr. Mr. Wolfowitz, Secretary Wolfowitz, what would you suggest then is the best way forward? Because uh, you're right, uh, they have already announced that they're not going to give up what they call their rights under the NPT, and that is the right to enrichment. But on the other hand, nor has the coercive uh, method actually worked. Yes, it has hurt economically, and the sanctions most definitely have hurt but it hasn't caused them to stop this program. So what do you think is the cause for the United States? The U.S. doesn't want to go to war again, does it? I don't think we do, but I think the course needs to be a long, broad, patient one. Sanctions may or may not work, but sanctions are hurting the regime. They are isolating Iran. I think they're in some political trouble at home, not deep political trouble, but some political trouble. Instead of taking off all that pressure and saying, oh, well, now you're ready to, well, they aren't even ready to talk to us. We go chasing no, after no. a handshake with Rouhani, and he says he's not ready for it. I, I specifically asked him whether he's authorized to talk, and that is whether the Iranian government is authorized to talk on these issues, and he said yes, and I think that is actually quite important because this is but the problem. But apparently he's not authorized to shake hands well, with the President of the United States, <laughs> which is not. fine with me, but... So maybe when, not. So when he says, so when the Iranians say that yeah. it's too complicated to shake President Obama's No, the hand. Iranians they just didn't, didn't say that. Time. The Americans they, they say that. But the Rouhani said, the Rouhani said to you today yeah. that he basically didn't, didn't have time. Yes. I mean, so saying so that of course the they could the have done it if they wanted the, to do it. Of course they could have done it if they wanted to do it. The quote but, that came out in the press all day today that they had said it's too complicated is not an Iranian well, quote. Well, I know the Americans said that. Right. And in Iran, there was a very right-wing newspaper, hardline newspaper, who said you shouldn't do it. But certainly American officials were, were yeah, they briefing. They had this really complicated internal political uh, uh, fight going on. And this is what this is what gives me pause. Uh, the Revolutionary Guard is really what runs the economy in Iraq, in Iran, and in, in they are really a tool of the Ayatollah Khamenei, who is very conservative. So it's very hard to figure out exactly what's going on. My own reading of this is that this is about economic distress, and that's all it's about. And they're looking for a way to get up off the floor without giving much up. This been, game has been going on for a long time. I don't mean 35 years. It's been going on for 3,500 years in this part of the world. Uh, Howard Dean, are you on the same side as Paul Wolfowitz on this? Um, I don't know. That, I mean, that, I it sounds like it. it sounds like that, it. That, that I, Howard Dean and Paul Wolfowitz share at least I, broad brush the deep, profound skepticism. Right. I, I think we should tell everybody. I have no trouble with talking with right. them, but I'm skeptical.